Who's the master? 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 I think it's frogs, Master 595. Yes, that's right. It's frogs, Master 595. Why, hello everyone. It's frogs, Master. All right. If you read the description of this item right here, you would have found out that I'd be making a video later talking about something that happened to the item because of little old me. <laughs> okay. You know what? I am stupid. I am very stupid. Extremely stupid. Obviously stupid. Crazy stupid. Annoyingly stupid. Stupid stupid. I am stupid. I'm so much stupid. Because of this. And the other things, I guess. But this has finally pulled it off. This has made me realize that things need to change here, okay? So, I'll just say the two things I tried doing again. I wanted to see how bad the gear really was with the head. So, I just moved it back and forth. Slowly. Lightly. Snap. Piece on the left side here came off. It's in the similar way to the jolly old St. Nicholas frogs, except it's not as bad yet, because it's just one piece here and not multiple. And the wire is still on there, I think, because it tries to move, but it can't, because that's snapped. So there was that, and that was just from doing it lightly. Nothing crazy trying to do that or anything, no. And I wasn't even holding it from there. I was holding it right from where you can see it move, you know? And then there was this. As you can see, that is snapped. Now the upper part here isn't, but this is. This one is fine. I had said it was just the left arm. Didn't matter, really. At least not too much, because these are already split. Big oof. But, I'm not joking around here. Yeah, I'm not doing these things anymore. Because it is not worth it. And how did this snap? I was just trying to get the arms to go down. Again, lightly. I was doing it slowly. And it snapped. So, now it's still my fault. I'm not saying it's this thing's fault. It is my fault. 100%. Although, it still has to do, to do something with this, though. I will say. Here's the thing. This whole thing with trying to move the mechanisms to see if they're going to work fine or something like that before actually testing it. It needs to stop because what's going to happen is you're going to try to move it and maybe it's stuck in some sort of way and then it's going to snap or maybe it's fine and then you may cause it to split because of the certain movement you're putting on it. That's what happened with my singing chihuahua the jingle bells one yep it's split because of me moving it yeah i don't don't know why i zoomed in on that when i said that whatever just you can't trust these things with doing that anymore because I mean, some of these small plush items are over 15 years old now. Some, many that are going to 
become 15 years old very soon, and they're getting old. The parts are getting old. They're yellowing, even if they're covered up, still, you know, and they're just going to break easy, even from little movements. Now, if you know how to repair them, then yes, you could make it work all good again, but just by having something snap accidentally, it's going to make a lot more work be needed, especially when it's something that snaps. Then you got to do the whole custom piece thing because there's a lot of times where there won't be a piece right for it and then you have to make your own. That's happened many times. And I've heard, I've seen videos where collectors have had to make custom pieces. I am not doing any sort of testing with the item anymore. I'm going to turn it on, see how it does. No more of that trying to get it to move stuff. No. Because something's just going to go wrong. Something will. And you don't want anything bad to happen. Especially if you don't normally repair stuff. Because then, uh-oh. You know, like in my case, because I don't repair things. I'm not someone who needs something to work perfect. But, of course, it's still not good when something isn't working the way it should. And you know it's not good when you're the one that caused it to get worse. So I'm not going to try to test things with the item anymore before I've even tried them out. I'm not doing that. And you shouldn't either because you don't know what could happen. Something could snap very easily. You can't tell how yellowed something is in there. And trust me, something can definitely be yellowed even if it's protected by this plush. I mean, I've opened some stuff up to fix their wires and they have been yellowed even with the plush there. There's been quite a few things actually, I'd say about five things that have been yellowed. So there you go on that. Now you know that's true. Yes, this is a big disappointment for me. Because this thing's head did move. The gear was splitting, but the head was moving and not stopping. And this wasn't snapped. Just yesterday night, it was fine. And then lay, later that night, it just got messed up. Okay. I hope you take this with most um, knowledgeful thinking and you don't try to do that with items again unless if you are actually repairing them you know because we don't need this happening and I know I'm not messing with it anymore because you just don't know And I think that is it. Eh, this item finally showed me that you can just make things worse, especially if you don't repair things. Uh, dumb, dumb, dumb of me. All right. Hope you liked listening to that. Peace.